As John Hattie says, nothing has a greater impact on student learning than descriptive feedback. In today's episode of Easy Classroom Blogging, please subscribe. We are going to look at how to use blogs as a vehicle to do exactly that. To explain how this works, let's use the example of a writing assignment which you're dedicating five periods to. Now, normally the students would write and edit for their five periods, then publish it to their blog, and their classmates, parents, the world would comment on it. Well, that's all well and good, but since the writing is finished, isn't it a bit late to be getting all that valuable feedback via the comments? Let's look at how we could restructure that. For periods one and two, the students start their writing assignment directly onto their blog. However, in the title, they add draft to make clear that it's not finished yet. Now here's the clever bit. In the third period, have the students visit each other's blog, read their classmates draft, and leave descriptive, useful, actionable feedback. I recommend limiting your students to giving feedback on only two other students. If you will be assessing the writing using some type of rubric, then have the students use that to guide their comments and feedback. In the fourth and fifth periods, the students can continue with their own writing, hopefully using the feedback comments to improve it. You can have the students copy and paste their writing onto a new post for continuing, or simply edit the draft post directly. I prefer copying it into a new post as it documents the process and allows all the stakeholders to see how the piece of writing evolved. So there you go, with a feedback focus, build the time into the process. If you found that little gem helpful, subscribe to our YouTube channel for lots more great tips on getting the most out of your classroom blogs. Find us on Twitter and Facebook and don't forget to visit easyblog.org now for your free classroom blog.